In this short Excel tutorial, I want to show you how you can quickly and fairly easily set up Excel so that it always opens up the same files every time you turn it on. So here I have three different spreadsheets, and let's say for some reason I need all three open on a regular basis. Instead of having to open each one, one at a time, I can simply go to the desktop, so I'm going to minimize the three Excel files, and then all you have to do is create a folder, like I've done here. To create your own folder, you can just right click on the desktop, but this folder doesn't have to be on the desktop. It could be in your file explorer anywhere on your computer. But anyway, right click, new, folder, give it a name, and then simply put Excel files in that folder. Now these should only be Excel files that you want to open every time you open Excel. So be picky about what you put in there. Now if you really don't want to move files, maybe they're shared files, if you move them it'll make it hard for other people to access those same files. In that case, look at what you can do. You can right click on the file that you don't want to physically move into a folder and just select Create Shortcut. Once you have the shortcut, click and drag and put the shortcut in the folder. So just to quickly review, we've created a folder and put Excel files or shortcuts to Excel files into that folder. Okay, and that's what I did earlier with this very important project smorgasbord. Three very important Excel files are in that folder. Now that that's done, I can open up Excel and it doesn't really matter what Excel spreadsheet I'm in. I could even just be in a completely blank Excel spreadsheet. But the trick is to go here to File and then go down to Options, and it brings up some basic general options, but if you go into Advanced and browse down almost all the way to the bottom, you should see an option here where it says, At Startup, Open All Files In, and here you have to put in the file location for that folder. So here is my file location for my folder. Yours will probably be similar, but that's the hard drive, that's one of the folders, another subfolder, subfolder, and for me it's desktop, but for you it might not be. It might be your documents folder or anywhere else on your computer. And then the final thing listed there is the folder that has your Excel documents or shortcuts to those Excel documents that you want to open up every time Excel opens. Once you've got that in, just click OK. Now I'll close out of all of my Excel spreadsheets. Excel is completely closed. And now I'll open it up again and see what happens. Look, all three important spreadsheets opened up and are ready to be used. So this is a great time saver. If you use Excel a lot, sure, maybe it just saves you five seconds a day. But if you use Excel every single day, this is going to add up. And this trick will save you some time and some hassle. If you change your mind about the files that you would like to automatically open, you can, of course, just change what you have inside the folder. So I could move these out of the folder, or if these are just shortcuts, like this one, you don't even have to move it out of the folder. Just right-click on it and delete it. You're just deleting a shortcut. You're not deleting the actual file. And that will change which files automatically open when you start up Excel. If you want to add additional Excel spreadsheets or files, you can just click and drag and drop them into the folder and you'll be good to go. Now, what if you decide you don't want any files to automatically open? That's okay. You can just go here to File, Options, go back to Advanced, down to the bottom of the list of options, and then select the file location that's in the system, delete it, and click OK. Now when I open up Excel, it does not automatically open any files. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, click the bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified whenever I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, become a supporter of mine through my Patreon account, and there's a link to that in the description below.